Hi everyone, um, Nights from Fingers here again, uh, doing another video here on Computer Craft. So, um, I've been working for the past month or two, as I'm sure you all know, on um, networks, emails, notifications, and stuff like that. That's been going really well, and it's gotten some nice positive feedback, um, but I'm kind of bored with it. I've sort of had enough with networks, so really want to do something a bit different. So today I'm on vacation, and doing something completely different. Today I will be showing you chess. So, we'll do this properly. So. <clears throat> Okay, so um, chess is a two-player game, of course, and so I have actually asked for um, a bit of help with today's demonstration, so um, I'd like to introduce my brother, so here he is, my younger brother, Philip. Okay, so, um, and here is the chess room that we'll be playing in, particularly, so um, we'll be playing using these two computers here, and the monster back will show us our progress. Alright, the game looks as though it's been all set up and ready to play, so... Now, even though this is a gentlemanly game, we should be playing um, as gentlemen and whatnot, um, the loser of today's game will, unfortunately, be put into the tube over here. <laughs> yes, well done. Uh, we've had to do this a few times. Anyway, so, um, we can watch the board here, or if you prefer, you can just watch it on your screen waiting for um, your other player to make his move. He'll be playing as white, and I'll be playing as black. So this will just keep it a nice update for us, a nice, a nice ASCII um, representation of the board as, as he plays. Now, um, we have to use sort of a modified chess notation to make our moves. Um, so you can see there, we, it's sort of like extended notation, um, but you don't have to include the, the type of piece. So rather than going, for example, um, NB6 to um, C, uh, N, M, NB8 to C6, you would just go um, B, B8 to C6. So, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a Sicilian defense. So that's I'm going to go C7 to C5. Never really understood Sicilian defense, but um, well, people seem to think it's Sicilian, and, and I like Sicily, so I may as well go with it. Okay, so he's moving his bishop, and so I'm going to. Now you'll see here that this um, that some of the rules aren't implemented, particularly checking is a bit lax, but um, all other moves, so in particular like um, trying to move pieces around is, is strictly regulated. So I can't for example go b8 to b6, won't allow that, but it will allow b8 to c6. That's okay. There we are. And you can see it's updated there on the board as well. You can move that on to d9. No, Alright, um, we'll just play here while, while I talk a, bit, a little bit about this engine. Um, I've noticed in a lot of my previous videos that I tend to say things like um, the code or the program behind this is not especially complicated or too difficult. And um, yeah, I use that expression not especially difficult a little bit more often than perhaps I should. Um, and you know what, I stand by that statement. I, I think that most of what I do is is not is not overly complicated. It's not it's not too challenging. I mean, the code itself is really long and it looks really difficult, especially on the on the, on the monochrome monitors here. Much better in something like Notepad. But um, you know, the, the concepts and the core behind it are really simple, and if you if you really look and work at it, then it's 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 not too difficult to um to understand. So yeah, you know, it's 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 okay. It's I've certainly seen worse. Having said that, this program is complicated. The algorithms behind the legality of moves and things like checking and stuff are actually quite complicated. I've got a check that uh, um, castle there, which is quite cool. So there is um there is some challenge associated with with trying to understand this code. So I mean you you're free to use this and modify it as you see fit, but um it's it's tricky. It's tricky stuff. So um yeah, just be aware of that if you if you want to give it a try. Having said that, I mean it's great fun. Um really cool little game. So I, I rather enjoy playing it. I'm stalling here because I have no idea what I'm going to do <laughs> to that move again. I haven't played this game in a very long time. I had great fun making it, but playing it that's a whole other story. I seem to box myself in a bit, haven't I? Um, I may have to move that other knight, I think, so I'm just going to move him. So I'm going to g8 to f6. That's all I can think of there as well. Um, you can see castling in there is working quite nice. The notation is really cool. It was very fun to see that working, so... Might see if I can take a few pieces in a second. We're all we're being a bit timid. I'm hoping he, he'll get a bit riskier in a minute. I did mention this before. Um, you can play... Um, local or network? What's he done? Ooh, ooh, that devilish rogue. All right, so he's taking that piece. You can see that he's got to take it. He's got to check there happening as well. So I'm actually going to take that piece with my king. It does preclude me from castling, but that actually may work against him rather than for him in the long run. So I'm going to go e8 to f7. 
there we are, that's taken him out, and I'm now back in commission. Checkmates do not work very well in this, and checks do not stop the king from moving, and that's the big thing to watch out for, so um, you will have to regulate those rules yourself when you play this. And yeah, you have to recognise a, um, a checkmate when you see one, but, but like I say, when I get around to it and when I have time, I'll, I'll be sure to fix that. I forgot what I was talking about, doesn't matter. Yes, of course, right, so you can play this locally or, or via network, it's up to you, um, and they work both ways. You can only use the big big ball with um, network play, however, so just be aware of that. Um, I've also included some instructions. Some of the rules, uh, I mean, they all use this net notation, so you have to be careful with things like en passant, for example. Um, it's a little bit trickier to follow. Is it moved? No. Um, and castling as well. Um, castling is done by moving the king two squares to the left or to the right rather than anything else, so... Okay, he's made a risky move, and one that's unfounded, and I'm going to pounce on that. Big mistake, my friend. <laughs> yes, beautiful, alright. So he's... he's getting desperate. <laughs> I think he's rather happy with those gold boots, I just probably just want to lose them. Okay, I'm still in a bit of a tricky position here. I don't really see any way of easily. I can probably, if I can take that castle, no. No, I'm going to need my queen for this. This is a queen's job. I think, yeah, I can, no. To paraphrase. No, that's probably not going to work. Okay, I'll have to think of something else. Okay, um, that's a really, really bad move, because that means I really can now actually do something nicely, so... Again, like I said, we're not chess players. <laughs> um, so we're going to e5 to f3, and that will take his queen and check him! And I check, so that's working really nicely. You can see that's not obscure or anything, so... He'll now have to use a pawn to take that piece, and that opens up nicely for another check. Great. I need to found that check as well, so if I got that bishop there... Yes, I actually might use him as fodder, so I'm gonna go... Again, I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm gonna go f6 to e4. Take that piece there. And now he'll take with um, f3, f3 takes e4, and then I will then go d8. No, no, not the queen first, the bishop first. I'll bring the, the bishop to... So F8, D6, so I'll just make him make, make his move. <laughs> Lots of takes, yeah. yeah. The board is clearing up a little bit more now. Um, I should probably make a mention as well, the ASCII art that was used in this game is not mine. Um, I didn't create this, it's actually created by um, a different artist. I've quoted him in the instructions, I don't remember his name off the top of my head. Um, these were actually yeah, taken from websites um, that was made about 10 years ago or so. so. However, all the code is my own. Um, I did get a bit of assistance with some of the other, um, with some of the networks up in particular, but the rest of it, it was um, was entirely mine. Oh no, it all is entirely mine, and it plays very nicely as well. You know, it's not the move that I expected or wanted. I'm going to have to go and take that piece. I can't threaten, let him threaten my my bishop. So I have to go. Now he should take the knight. The main reason I actually I made this program was because of the Monster update. I've been sitting on uh, an earlier version of Minecraft for a long time, so I really want to update because of you know, complications and things. And um, it was just a really nice um, way, I, I thought, of, of being able to use monitors. The real trick with monitors, unlike turtles, ro robots and turtles especially, you can really... Um, oh, that's a bit scary. Um, Robots and Turtles, you can really find a lot of applications for, and um, and they're very easy to sort of do really exciting and fun things with. That is not so, um, however, oh, I'm playing sloppily. Um, that not so, however, with um, with with monitors because monitors are non-interactive. You can only use a computer, but you can't actually interact with the monitor directly. So you either have to use like series of buttons or redstone input, or you have to use something else. Um, and either way, you, you have difficulties associated with that. So finding a, a good use of monitors um, was actually a bit of a challenge for me. And in the end, I thought a stated board um, was a really great way to go. So I'm actually going to check the king there. 
he's probably just have to get this over with, so. So if I can just move my bishop into place, it will take me three moves to mate, if we can get there. Okay, the king has made his move, as I expected he would. Actually, what I can then do is go... Oh, this is clever, this is clever, this would be good. Um, if it works, <laughs> of course. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go E, 4, 2, F2, take the and check him there. Okay, um, what was I saying? Right, yeah, so it, it's it's a way of using monitors in a, in a fairly, in a, in a way that really does add something to the experience that wouldn't be there otherwise. Um, I mean, just having, the expectation to just display programs on the monitor anyway is, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not... Doesn't, doesn't necessarily suit all applications. I mean, watching someone editing a text file on the monitor is, is it would be a lot of fun. And I don't really I can't really imagine a situation where you want to display something that someone else is doing on a monitor, unless they're even if they're playing a game or something, it doesn't really feel so something you want to do. So the only time you want to do that is when you're using an application that requires observers, i.e., you, you want to have someone observing. It. And chess is a good example of that because you, you can you just imagine this being in some gallery where people will sit by and, and, and clap politely as um, as people make moves. But um. Yes, and he's done what I expected, so that means I can now check with the king, uh, queen. However, um, in situations where that's not the case, yeah. So you know, in situations where, where you know where that's not the case, it, perhaps a monitor is the best way to go. So. Yeah, it's it's always good to think about um about what what you can use them for and and the, and the best tool for the job, so to speak. And I thought this was a really good way to use monitors because I mean, on the computer screen, chess isn't that interesting. You know I mean, I mean, it's 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 quite in, it's quite informative and it's everything that a professional player would need to play a game of chess for the for the good reasons. But um, I mean, half the fun of chess isn't so much about just about the game. Well, it is, but I mean, a lot of it is just the um you know the the the, the board and actually the you know the, the niceness of playing with each individual piece as as is common in, in that individual game. So. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is a situation where I, I really felt that adding this this ASCII representation of the game itself was really just a, a nice way to make it just a bit more engaging, a bit more interesting. So yeah, yeah, it's it's again thinking about a good way to use monitors. I'm still thinking of, of other ways, and I'm sure I'll come up with one eventually. But um, for the moment, I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this one. Okay, he made his move. Alright, let's see. And he's. Ah, uh, yes. Alright, that'll do. I'll take that piece. And that leaves him. That's checkmate, my friend. Nothing you can do. Now, yeah, again, like I say, it unfortunately doesn't display yet. I have got sort of the, the bit in there. But it's not, it's not quite there yet. <laughs> so. I believe I do deserve to wear these boots. Ah, <laughs> uh, sweet. I can't leave it off too long. It's at the roof on fire. Okay, so um, that was great fun. A uh, really, really fun little thing there. So um, that, that, that's 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 chess. Um, the the game there, so to speak. Um. Hope you found this sort of interesting, uh, a different way of, of using computers, a different way of, sort of playing with monitors. So, um, you're of course free to download it and, and play a few games if you want to see one on YouTube. I'd love to see other people having a go at this, so it's it's a lot of fun. And I'll keep working on to increase those, those different features and stuff. But um, yeah, just, just um, I suppose the point to take behind all of this is, is just to think about all the tools that are available in computer crafting and how to use them in, in fun and, and different ways. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. See you later.